Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hello, beautiful and dear friends. It is a delight for us to unite once again in this most sacred hour to pray, to have the blessed opportunity to consciously connect with the on high and thus feel the abundance of God's love that descends upon us and better yet, be able to co-create more harmony, co-create more peace, co-create more compassion and fraternity to mold the good with our beautiful thoughts and feelings potentialized by the power of our unity in the name of God and in the name of our beloved Master. So we welcome you, dear friends, with a warm embrace of gratitude in the name of the mentors of Kardec Radio. We would like to say welcome to our dear John the Rosa and welcome to everyone who has joined us. If you wish, please write a comment on the chat so we can directly acknowledge you right Betty Cruz hello it's wonderful to have you beautiful soul and hello dear Abby we always feel the warmth of your heart thank you for keeping us warm with kindness we truly appreciate it thank you abby share and thank you narciso always ready to pray right narciso hello tanya hockett good evening to you we can already feel the warmth of everyone's loving heart thank you so much for joining and so dear friends we will begin our daily prayer moment which kardec radio broadcasts every day at 6 p.m eastern standard time we will begin with a prayer then read an inspirational message by casimiro cunha through chico xavier bring a couple of highlights and do a closing prayer so let us begin dear beloved friends if possible let us close our eyes and acknowledge the blessing of being a child of god beloved mother father god creator of everything it is with much gratitude that we acknowledge with all of our hearts that we are here because you wish it so and it is thanks to you that one day we shall progress so much that we will be engineers of planets and galaxies and we shall then help sustain humanity as does our lord jesus christ with the beauty and purity of his infinite love we thank you almighty god for having sent our model and guide to the earth. Thank you for having allowed our master to descend from the highest spheres of the on high, to teach us how to be human, how to recognize the divine in us, and most importantly, how to share the divine within. We pray so that in this very month, 
when we celebrate the very coming of the Christ to the earth, that our very hearts become a manger upon which the Master can be born once again, bringing joy of living, bringing hope, bringing healing, bringing divine love to all of us. May we live that holy moment in every step we take in this existence. May we acknowledge the nobility and the beautiful heart of the Christ as we transform our hearts into his dwelling. And it is with this intention in mind that we ask the legions of the Master as well as that of Mary of Nazareth, our Holy Mother, to take advantage of our joint vibrations and distribute healing light and healing love to all the spirits, souls, and hearts in much greater need than ourselves, so that the presence of the Master is felt by everyone on the earth. And with your permission, beloved Mother, Father God, we pray that you inspire us at this very moment and that you grant us permission to begin. And so be it. What a blessing, dear friends. And tonight, Casimiro Cunha, through Chico Xavier, is going to teach us about the gospel at home. Did you know, dear friends, that the gospel at home is a practice that was instituted by Master Jesus 2,000 years ago? Did you know that Master Jesus himself had the habit of reading the scriptures with the apostles and commenting on them? to nourish their souls together and to bring us teachings for immortality. Yes, this is a very sacred practice that is open to all of us because Master Jesus invites all of us to his banquet of divine light. We are all invited and Casimiro Cunha knows that. So he wrote a poem about the God gospel at home, which we shall read right now together. If you would like, dear friends, to follow along, you will find this message published in English at issue 47 of the Spiritist magazine. And did you know that the Spiritist magazine is available for free and that you can download it on your very phone for free as well in the app store? All you need to do is type the Spiritus magazine and all these treasures will be available to you in the touch of a fingertip. <clears throat> so here we go, dear friends. Casimiro Cunha begins the message by saying, when the worship of the gospel shines in the center of the home, the everyday struggle begins to sanctify. Where the tongue deranges, lacerates and slenders, bright flowers bloom of sacrosanct joy. In the place where lies create the war of incomprehension, Truth 
establishes the empire of Christian love. Where anger roars and bites as rough and invisible beasts, the loving silence arises in understanding, respect, and hope. The mind of apprentices sip light in the air, all gladly content in the glory of helping. The blessing of open worship in the divine guideline, Jesus talks to all and the house lives happy. Whoever brings the church within, fighting darkness and evil, finds the sublime door of the heavenly kingdom. What a beautiful, so nourishing poem by our dear Casimiro Cunha. This is a beautiful set of guidelines for us because Casimiro Cunha is reminding us of the law of worship. Did you know, dear friends, that Consciously communicating with God and making an effort to make that a habit is a universal law. Yes, and it is published in the Spirit's book, third part, where Kardec studies the moral ethical laws that guide the universe. Casimiro Cunha is aware of such law and he shows us verse by verse how our lives are transformed when we bring the church as he says it within when the practice of consciously connecting with God in our very homes becomes so natural that we become inspired, enveloped, bathed by God's light. And he tells us, Casimiro Cunha, in this beautiful poem, that nothing external may change in our lives with the habit of prayer immediately, like a phenomenal miracle. No. But he promises us in this beautiful poem that the way in which we perceive our lives shall change because the master shall sustain us and provide us with a more expanded understanding of the meaning of life. So this is why Casimiro Cunha asserts, dear friends, that even when we are surrounded by slander or anger that roars, if we have the habit of speaking to God from the heart, we will have the strength to understand internally that the person who is roaring out of anger is a sick soul that as master jesus told us or taught us at the cross forgive them for they do not know what they are doing we know through spiritism that when we or anyone we know immerse themselves in anger for a long time and that becomes a way of living for them, they are dripping poison into their souls. The consistency of their perispiritual body is being altered. And the way the connections that they built with friends from the spiritual realm are likely to be very unhappy ones because they will also attract other angry minds. So we who have this consoling knowledge, this expanded understanding of life, this multidimensional take 
on the events that surround us are better able to offer the gift of compassion to a loved one who may be in our homes suffering than someone who does not have this knowledge. This is why we are in communion with the Christ, because we are ready to uphold his light. So internally, inside of our hearts, when we bring Christ within, every day, dear friends, is a Christmas celebration. Because when a loved one that is near to us or afar has a burst of anger, like a volcano in explosion, we then can encode this message differently because we have the Christ within. We, instead of taking offense, of taking things personally, we can leave the offense elsewhere and choose not to take it in. How so? By understanding that that person is sick, making connections with other minds that are equally sick and that they do not have the knowledge that we do, thus they deserve the remedy of compassion. So we are being called tonight to strengthen our connection with the Christ at home, at home in two levels, our physical dwelling, our humble abode, and also the home of our spirits, the heart. How is our heart doing, dear friends? Have we done power cleaning in our hearts so that we make room for the Christ to live inside of it? We can use the Lysol of love here to dust any resentments off or wipe any resentments off that we may have. How can we do this once again? By re-encoding the events that have happened in our lives. Master Jesus in the book, Jesus in the Home, several times teaches us that those who slander those who are angry, those who are in positional, those who roar and, and seek to hurt any of us are sicker than we can imagine because they have so many unresolved issues that they don't know how to conquer serenity. So we are being called to show them through our compassion that yes, serenity is possible and that we believe in them so much that we are going to stand strong knowing that the afflicted in the words of Master Jesus are blessed. Why? Because their souls and hearts are more permeable to connect with God. Suffering, dear friends, is not a punishment. It is instead an, an opportunity for us to have even more openings in our souls to allow the light of God to fill ourselves with hope. So if we are experiencing suffering, if we have many loved ones who seem challenging to us, Casemiro Cunha is asking us to bring our master to the manger of our hearts. May our very hearts become the symbolic manger of that holy night, may we sing silent night to ourselves. May we visualize the master 
being born and bringing light within. May we allow this light to permeate us and read us, recycle the sentiments, the feelings that are heavy and that we no longer need so that we may offer the very light that sustains us to others. Does that mean that we need to convert everyone around us? No. Casimiro Cunha says that we can stand in silence because our vibrations will speak much louder than our words. Did you know, dear friends, that Master Jesus listened more than he spoke? Yes, in the book, once again, Jesus in the Home by Neil Lúcio, through Chico Xavier, we see how much Jesus listened. So we are being called to offer those around us the remedy of compassion, to practice joyful, faithful silence, to bring the Christ within, and to take this blessed month to strengthen our connection with God. So we hope that all of our hearts tonight can become holy mangers where the holy night can come about yet again so we can feel as we are holding the master in our hearts and we allow his loving light to work miracles within may we give the master to ourselves as Christmas gifts, and may we offer the compassion, the serenity, the love that the Master grants us to others as well. If we are wondering how can we bring the church or temple or the Christ within, we all we need to do is open our hearts. How do we open the doors of our hearts? First, by cleansing our hearts from unnecessary feelings that we no longer need. Then, by cultivating a relationship with the Christ so he can fill our hearts with the sentiments that we choose to have. And how can we then cultivate this relationship by praying, by reading about the Christ and God and love and compassion and faith and the virtues that we would like to bring within, by watching edifying programs. Luckily, Kardec Radio is on air 24-7 by remembering to nourish our souls in the same way that we nourish our bodies. In this way, the manger, dear friends, will stay very much alive within the dwellings of our hearts. So what a blessing Casimiro Cunha brought to us. He is telling us that when we bring God and Christ within, our life, lives transform. Why? Because everybody changes? No. But because we change the way we perceive ourselves, others, and the challenges that life brings to teach us to grow spiritually. So let us pray now in gratitude for this much that Casimiro Cunha brought to us. We are blessed to be able to nourish our souls in such special ways. So let us close this beautiful moment with a closing prayer. Ok, 
Okay. If possible, dear friends, once again, let us close our heart, eyes and open our hearts, asking the spirit mentors, our garden angels, the spirit doctors, nurses and therapists that are visiting our homes exactly at this time to begin the cleansing of our hearts. May they use the wipes of love to cleanse any unnecessary feelings we may still carry within. May we receive at this moment from the hands of the loving spirits a bouquet of lavender flowers and as we receive this beautiful bouquet of luminous flowers we breathe in the perfume of divine love allowing it to permeate every cell of our bodies and of our perispiritual constitution, renewing our spirit from inside out. And as we feel the vibrations of love renewing us all, we ask that our garden angels help us bring one beautiful luminous lavender flower to a person with whom we may wish to reconcile may we visualize this beautiful person bathed in divine light and may we pray so that our divine master reminds them that they are beautiful children of God, destined to love and to be loved. We thank them personally for all they have taught us for the transformations that came about in our lives because of them, for the gifts of spiritual growth that they brought about to us. And we consciously now, before Master Jesus, ask God so that we can have the opportunity to serve this person all the more through loving thoughts and feelings so that the person can receive our gratitude from the much we have learned through them and we pray so the master jesus helps us as an envoy of god to find divine gifts in every person we meet knowing that we are not together by chance we promise to strive to see the divine in those around us we also pray for the discarnate spirits that are part of our network, hoping that they too can receive an embrace from the Christ at this very moment. And praying so that the Christ heals any wounds that we may carry from previous lives even or millennia we visualize the very christ placing a symbolic manger in our hearts we see this beautiful symbol of christ's faith in god 
emerge before us and we see ourselves transported to that holy night. And as the Christ gazes at us with infinite love, we come to feel that God shall forever love us and watch over us. With the certainty in our hearts, we ask the Master to embrace the whole planet, showering it with vibrations of hope, forgiveness, reconciliation, togetherness, and divine love. We ask for permission to pray for our beloved United States of America, the brain of the earth as assigned by the Christ, visualizing bridges of friendship, fraternity, hope, understanding, going across all nations from the United States in the name of the Christ. And as we close this prayerful moment, we hear the voice of the Master saying to each and every one of us personally, I am counting on you to be a light bearer because I love you today, tomorrow, and always. Breathing in this love and carrying the certainty that the Master walks side by side with us, we ask God, Master Jesus, and the loving spirits for permission to end tonight's prayerful moment. And so be it. Thank you, dear friends, for this beautiful blessing. Let us keep feeling the presence of God and our beloved Master within our hearts. We wish you many beautiful blessings and we invite you to stay tuned right here on Kardec Radio because here we are always nourishing our souls. Many blessings, dear friends. <laughs>